What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Swan 85 back with another video. And in today's video, yes, I am wearing a very bright ass shirt. You're probably like, damn, what you a garbage man? Collect garbage? No, that's not what I do. You probably like, oh, what you like? One of them gas pump dudes at, in Jersey to be pumping it? No, I don't work for Wawa and pump gas. No, man, I decided to make this video talking about the five things that I hate about my job. Now, before y'all say, don't do it, don't do it. You want to put your job in jeopardy. I'm not putting my job in jeopardy because I am not going to tell the company that I work for. Now, if you know me personally, then you may feel your way about this. If you do, you do, whatever. So I drive a tow truck, flatbed to be specific. All right, so this is just a list of five things that I hate about the job. And it doesn't have to do with theoretically the company as a whole. It's more so the experiences that you deal with while you're out on the road. So, number five, junky ass cars. Now, to each their own, you own the property. This car may be in your name. You may be financing it. You may be doing what you're doing. It may be the car that's set in the back of your crib for God knows how long. However, sometimes y'all cars smell so damn bad it brings out my dog side. It makes me want to commit crimes. Why does your car smell so bad? Why is it so junky? And the bad part about it is people get out like it's ever nothing. Like I'd be ashamed of some of these folks cars that we get into. You may tell me, hey, can you drive my car off my property? The hell I will. You get that goddamn car. That car is dirty. It is atrocious. It should be a crime the way your car is. Why is your car so damn dirty? You get in the car sometimes and it'd be cat hair, it'd be piles of Wendy's and Wawa and McDonald's and a bunch of other bullshit. Like, why are you using your car as a trash can? And you just be like, yeah, go and get in my car, bitch. It is something crawling in there. I don't want to get in that. Number four, the hoverer. And when I say the hoverer, I mean the person who is all over you. Like, yeah, what does this do? Oh, oh, please, please don't touch the bumper. Listen, if they call me or dispatch me out, to tow your car, apparently I may know what I'm doing, okay? Now don't get me wrong, there are some rookies, and I've made some rookie mistakes when I used to tow when I started, okay? But there is nothing worse than somebody constantly over my shoulder, what does this button do? What's that button do? Ooh, what does that do? Ooh, is it gonna pull the car? Oh, is it gonna drag it? What is it going <sighs> Sit back, shut up, and watch the show. That's all I can tell you. Because if we're there, we are there to help you. And don't walk in traffic or try to walk on the outside of the damn road when we're on the expressway or highway. Why would you put your life at risk? I got on a highlighter shirt. So if they hit me, by law, they're gonna get in more trouble than knocking your ass to hell over because you decided to pull over on the side of the expressway, okay? So, when it comes to something like that, especially if we're on the expressway, give me your keys, back the hell up, and walk to the side of the other side of the road. Number three, the person who says, I don't know where I am. How the f you not know where you are, man? You have a smartphone. Now, I do know a smartphone can be considered a misnomer, meaning that you should go look that word up because I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Go look it up. Either way, your smartphone is a tracking device. Don't come hunt me down, FBI. It is a tracking device. Therefore, your location is always on. And even if it is not, there is a little button on your iPhone or your Samsung where you can scroll down and say, my location, put it on. And it will tell you on Google. Hell, you can ask Google, Siri, and if Alexa is attached to your you can ask her too. And she'll let you know where you are. If you are in bubble boondock, it will let you know you are in bubble boondock. Like, I don't understand how people will say, I don't know where I am, when you're holding a smartphone. When you call in and you say, I am at such and such, such and such, make sure you are physically there because there is no reason why you are lost. You should never be lost. That should also send some signals in your mind to let you know like, oh, I'm pretty helpless without a cell phone. I hate when people tell me they don't know where they are or they give me your direction tell me they are here, when theoretically they are like two or three miles down the damn road. How the f did you mess that up? I'm here, but I'm really not here. You have a phone and you're like, oh, oh. it's not funny when I'm trying to swing this big old truck around small streets and doing U-turns and the fact that I work in Jersey, I gotta go right to go left. Do you know how stressful that is? Put your location in the right way. 
Make sure you know the cross streets. Give me a landmark, a big ass one too. If you are in front of a McDonald's and talking about you don't know where you are, bitch, you're in front of a McDonald's. Number two, if you go to a repair shop and they recommend replacing ball joints, replace your ball joints. I'm telling you this now because if you don't pay attention to this shit, your wheels will be cocked like a pistol while you driving down the road. Meaning your wheels supposed to be straight and them bitches gonna end up like this. Both of them and your steering wheel is still gonna be straight. Imagine that scary. We as tow truck drivers in the tow truck driver community hate ball joints and they can be prevented if you stop running over curbs people and just stay up on your maintenance if you hear a wobble or someone tells you you need ball joints done get them done people save yourself the headache okay because when a ball joint usually snaps it usually brings an axle or a lower control arm with it okay y'all may not know what these parts are fine but you're going to find out if you don't get your ball joints checked the hell out Try to stay up on your maintenance on your car, especially your steering and suspension. Because if not, we will be there and you might not get someone as nice as me and they may just drag your car up the, up the freaking bed. Then you're gonna be mad at yourself because now you gotta place a bumper, fender, wheel well, ball joints, axles, CV boots, lower control arms, and you need an alignment. Don't forget the labor. Now, before I get to number one, I figure I'd do a couple of honorable mentions like, we hate pushing cars. I don't give a hell how big you are. No one loves to push cars. Parking garages. We hate trying to get a car out of a parking garage. People that run out of gas. I don't understand how you run out of gas when there are so many alarms that will prevent you from running out of gas. Having to put a car in a parking spot, especially with a flatbed. You pull down the street. Yeah, can you park my car in that spot there? No, bitch. I'm not parking your car. Like, it's a flatbed. Let me find some open space where I can just drop the car. Number one. The one thing that every tow truck driver hates. And I can tell you this because it just gets on our nerve. When we show up and you say to me, I put it in neutral. Why would you put your car in neutral? Now, you might be thinking, well, why not? Stupid. If your car is on a hill or on some kind of incline, if your car is in neutral, what the hell is holding it back, dumbass? Now your car rolls away while me and you having a conversation, and guess what I'm gonna say to you? Oh sh! I guess your car got somewhere it need to be. Oh no, my car! <laughs> Stupid. Now I'm gonna sit there and look like, oh man, what happened to your car? I put it in neutral. Don't put your damn car in neutral. Leave it in park. Give me the keys and back the f up, period. That's it, nothing else. Shh, over there, across the street, thank you. Let me do my job, enjoy the show. Don't put your car in neutral when the tow truck driver shows up because when we hook your car up and our chains are in free spin, guess where your car is going to go? It's either going to slam into my bed or it's going to keep rolling until I take it out of free spin. Don't put your car in neutral. Leave your car in park. Get the hell out and give me the keys. People be like, well, you can put it in neutral? Oh, it's still in park. I know. Let me get my bed down. Let me put my chains under your car. Now, I'm going to put your car in neutral because now my truck has your car. So, if your car decided it wanted to slide back, it's going nowhere because the tension from my winch is now holding your car. Got it? Good. So next time your car gets towed, don't put it in neutral. Leave it in park. Give the guy the keys or girl because there are female tow truck drivers. Don't put your car in neutral, people. I know I sound a little hostile when I'm saying it, but I hear it every single day. Every day. I put the car in neutral. 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 Car in neutral. And I'm like, ha 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 park so those are my top five things i understand the video might be a little long i said curse words get over it you're an adult if you don't like the show change the channel <laughs> don't forget to leave a comment like share subscribe do all the buttony stuff follow my social media platforms i hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you in the next one mm. your car should not smell like bounce that ass 
Your car should not be curling my eyebrows when I get inside. Your car should not make me curse when I sit in that bitch. God damn, what the hell is the smell up in here? Your car should not smell like open ass cheeks. Your car should not smell like toe jam and chitlins. Your car should not smell like smoked salmon and earring backs. Your car should not smell like raw ass and tuna fish. I am now officially questioning your character of cleanliness. Why your car so junky, bro? If your car is junky, goddammit, your house must be roach infested. I don't want to go up in that joint. <laughs>